In an older video, we talked about adding time. But what do you do if you're asked to subtract time? That's what we're going to talk about today. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss my next upload, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. As I mentioned before, we already talked about adding time. So if you haven't seen that video yet, hit pause and watch that video first. You can click right here to get to it. Then the I button right there. So subtracting time. In order for me to explain that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung part 2 ng discussion natin on time word problems. We already talked about adding time before. And again, if you haven't seen that yet, I recommend that you do. Kasi hindi na natin dadaanan yung mga details ng military time at saka kung anong doon. Pero basically, ang concept kasi is that each day is broken down into 24 hours. At yung 24 hours na yun, hati rin siya. Sa 12 hours AM at saka 12 hours sa PM. Alright? Now, a good way to practice this concept is for you to switch yung inyong phones into yung 24-hour na time cycle. So, if you notice sa uh, settings ng inyong phone, meron dong option kung 24-hour yung time or 12-hour. You choose yung 24-hour para maging military time siya. Para lang masanay kayo na to think in 12s. Okay, ano yung ibig to, to think in 12s? Kasi, when you're dealing with time, ang kanyang oras, ang cut-off is uh, ano eh, every 12. So, every time magka-count ka ng 12, magsiswitch ka ng AM to PM or PM to AM. Every 24 din, magka-cut-off ka rin. Sa seconds naman, tsaka sa minutes, 60. So, ibig sabihin, dapat matuto tayo na automatic na sa atin na nagka-cap tayo sa 12. Okay? And if you do that, so every time, kunyari, magsicheck ka ng time, makikita mo, 15.30, ah, okay, 3.30 yun. 16.40 at... 440 yun. Kung automatic na yun sa inyo, mas madali na isolve yung ganitong klaseng tanong. Okay? Now, let's take this question muna. Sabi dito, Ali and her friends got to the campsite at 1.40 p.m. If the trip took 2 hours and 30 minutes, what time did they leave for the campsite? Now, obviously, subtraction ito. Now, kung hindi nyo masyado na figure out, again, subukan nyo tagalugin. Laging ganun yung advice ko if you're having trouble in, in, uh, sa pag-intindi ng mga word problems, subukan nyo siya i-translate. Kasi pag na-translate nyo na siya, medyo maintindihan nyo na siya. So, kung tatagalugan natin siya, nakarating daw sila sa campsite ng 1.40. Ang binyahe nila, dalawang oras and 30 minutes. Ang hinahanap, what time did they leave? So, anong oras sila umalis ng bahay? Na kung again, hindi nyo pa sure kung anong operation na gagamitin, isipin ninyo, uh, simpleng tanong muna. Kaya, as, alas sa isa ko dumating sa bahay, dalawang oras ang biyahe, anong oras ako umalis? And your mind would automatically go to, ah, kung alas sa isa ko dumating, dalawang oras ako bumiyahe, ibig sabihin, ako ay umalis ng 4pm. And what you did there basically was 6pm minus 2 hours, nakarating ka sa 4. So, ito obviously would be a subtraction. Okay? Subtraction yung gagawin ninyo. Ngayon, Mag start ka muna with the time. Now, I put here 13.40. Bakit 13.40? Kasi yun yung military time version ng 1.40 p.m. Now, bakit ko yun ginawa specifically for this problem? Kasi kung mapapansin niyo ang isa subtract niyo ay 2 hours. Eh, ang 2 hours, higit pa siya sa 1 hour and 40 minutes. Ibig sabihin, mangungutang ka. Ibig sabihin, this would be some time in the morning. Which is a good thing din to think about if meron kayong options. Kasi ang hahanapin niyo yun nasa a.m. Kung ang mga options puro p.m., isa lang ang a.m., again, bonus na yun. Pero, kadalasan yan, since marami naman yan sa options, makikita mo, so, sisigurado mo pa lang, just by looking at the problem na, okay, mangungutang ako dito, so it's, it'll be a little bit complicated. Kung ang ilalagay ko dito, 140, 140 minus 230, utang na agad, maguguluhan na tayo, parang negative yung dating. So, kung gagawin mo siya 1340, hindi siya magiging problema. Kasi, all you have to do would be to subtract 230, okay, and ang kalalabasan ay 1110. Bakit? Kasi, 40 minus 30 lang, tapos 13 minus 2, which will be 11. So, the answer would be 11.10 a.m. Okay? Which, again, would be more complicated kung ang nakalagay dito ay 1.40 minus 2.30. Kasi, iba ang tingin na agad dyan. Cannot be. Mas malaki yung nasa ilalim eh. So, again, in the uh, um, concept na time ang ginagamit, gagawin nyo lang military time siya para sumobra siya lagi sa 12. So, laging mas malaki siya. Okay? Now, 
Paano naman kung ganito? Okay? Sabi, Ali and her friends got to the campsite at 10 p.m. If the trip took 4 hours and 25 minutes, what time did they leave for the campsite? Now, yung tanong kanina was a little bit easier kasi yung isa-subtract mo, okay, yung o'clock, hindi problema. Okay? Kasi kung isusulat ko ito, it would look like this. Okay? 10 p.m. is 2200. Okay? Okay lang yun. Tapos, iba minus ko yung 425. Pag minus ko ngayon yung 425, ang problema dyan, zero to eh. Zero minus 25. Now, what do you do with that? Ang gagawin mo lang basically is this. I turn 2200s into 2160. Now, saan ang galing yung 60? Kasi ang ginawa ko lang, nangutang ako ng isang oras dito. This is one hour. Okay? Binawasan ko lang siya ng one hour. Naging 21 hours na siya. Tapos, yung one hour na yan, which is equivalent to 60 minutes, Okay, nilagay ko lang siya, sinulat ko lang siya dito. So, kung tutuusin, ang 2160 at saka 2200s, pareho lang yan. Okay? Ang ginawa ko lang again is, kumuha ko lang isang oras dito, nilagay ko siya as 60. Now, pag may ko ngayon siya, hindi na siya magiging problema. Okay? Kasi yung 60, pwede ko na ibawas yung 25. Hindi katulad doon sa 0. So, pag binawas ko yan, that would be 7. 17.35 or 5.35 p.m. Saan ang galing yun? 60 minus 25 tapos 21 minus 4 which is going to give you 17. Okay? Tapos kinonvert ko lang siya dito. Kasi binawas ko yung 12 para lumabas yung oras niya in p.m. Again, kung naguluhan kayo sa part na to, na-discuss ko na sa unang video. Okay? So, again, anong two skills ang kailangan ninyo para ma-equip kayo pag nagsasubtract ng time? Number one, be comfortable with the, with the need. Kasi minsan kailangan na, na i-convert siya into military time. And then, pangalawa, be comfortable with the fact that sometimes kailangan mo mangutang ng isang oras, turn it or idagdag mo dun sa 60 minutes para lang hindi ka mangutang. Okay? Now, there's another option, which is yung minute-to-hour method. Basically, kung gusto nyo mag-mental math at familiar naman kayo sa orasan, okay, na analog, pwede nyo ma-imagine ito. So, balikan natin yung tanong. Alam naman na natin yung tamang sagot kanina, di ba? Pero, um, try natin siya using a clock. So, ano yung minute-to-hour method? Yung minute muna ang iisipin mo, and then bago mo iisipin yung hour. So, for example, ang time daw ay 10 p.m. Kung 10 p.m. siya nakalating, dito yung short hand, dito yung long hand. Tapos, ibabawas natin. So, ang movement natin would be counterclockwise. Okay? Pag ganun, ang movement nung kamay. Una kong imove ay yung minute hand. So, galing ako sa 12, magbabawas ako ng 25 minutes. Now, how do I do that? Bawat isang part niyan, ito, ay 5 minutes. So, gagawin ko lang 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, dito siya matatapos. Okay? At kung ang minute hand mo ay nandyan, ang oras niyan is 35. Okay? Now, after that, ang gagawin ko lang is, iisipin ko ngayon yung hour hand. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko lang would be, igagalaw ko rin siya. So, ng 4 times, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Okay? Kaya lang, di ba, dahil minove natin yung 12, umurong siya lumampas ng 12. Okay? Ibig sabihin, nangutang ka rin ng isang oras. Okay? Kasi hindi siya nang galing dito. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko, babawas pa ako ng isa. So, ang bagsa ko pa rin would be 5.35. Now, depende na sa inyo kung anong mas komportable sa inyong gamitin. Ito ang suggestion ko. Kapag hindi ka mangungutang, pwede to. Okay? Kaya lang iba, nakakalimutan kasi nila na ibawas yung isang hour na binaro. Kaya ang nagiging sagot nila 6.35. So, ang sa akin... I-start ninyo na i-master muna yung addition at saka subtraction. Okay? And then, pag master nyo na yon or gamay nyo na yon, pwede nyo itong subukan. Okay? Para lang doon sa mental na process. Okay? So, again, either of those two, kung saan kayo mas comfortable, yun ang piliin ninyo. Okay? Now, it's your turn. I want you to try your hand at this problem. So, make sure that you have a pen and paper handy. And I'm going to give you time to solve this by yourself. After that, we'll solve it together. Okay? So if you're ready, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, solve natin together. Sabi dito this a problem natin. George went to the beach. The trip was 5 hours and 10 minutes long. If he got there at precisely 12 midnight, what time did he leave for the beach? Okay, so ang, ang information natin dito ay yung oras siyang dumating. Sabi, 12 midnight. Tapos ang trip niya daw took 5 hours and 10 minutes. Now again, using your first method, which is yung add and subtract, Ang gagawin lang natin, kung ano yung oras na dumating siya, which is 12 midnight, isusulat lang natin siya. Now, 12 midnight sa 24-hour na clock would be 2400. Okay? Tapos, ibabawas natin ngayon yung 5 hours and 10 minutes. Okay? Now, again, looking at this, hindi pwede, mangungutang ka, kasi hindi pwedeng 0 minus 10. So, ang gagawin natin, again, gawin nyo lang siyang 3, gawin natin tong 60, and we're all set. So, this will be 50. Tapos, to 23 ngayon na siya instead of 24. 23 minus 5 is going to give me 18. So, 18.50 or 6.50 p.m. So, that is your answer. I hope you got that right. Okay? So, again, practice, practice, practice. And uh, and if in case you don't follow me yet on Instagram, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla. I will be posting more questions sa topic na ito para you can practice by yourself. Ang maganda kasi doon, uh, doon sa quick quiz na function ng Instagram is pag nag-follow kayo sa akin sa Instagram story, you can click on the answer and find out right away kung tama kayo o mali. Now, if I find na marami sa inyong mali pa rin, I will keep making more questions like that hanggang dun sa araw ng exam niyo so you can keep practicing, okay? Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, request ko ng topics na gusto niyo pag-usapan, you can comment below or send a message to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information on the reviewers then, online review program, live review events, and all of those things. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para ma-notify kayo pag may mga bagong uploads. I try to post at least one new video lesson every week and I would hate for you to miss those. Thanks guys and as we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Aja aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.